Hey guys, Brent John. Welcome back to another quick tip series. And today I'm going to show you how I took this image from Antelope Canyon in Arizona. This is the straight off the camera image. And I used Johnny's Lightroom presets workflow bundle to go to this image. And I did it really quickly and I'll explain exactly how I did it. So from this to this, stick around and watch. Welcome back guys and um, glad you're here for another quick tip series. Now today I'm going to edit this image which I took in Antelope Canyon in Arizona last week when we were there. So uh, just an amazing place. If you ever get the opportunity definitely go into this canyon. You walk through even though there are a lot of people around you you can shoot upwards and that's what you're doing most of the time. You're kind of shooting on top of people's heads, above their heads, and you're shooting up into the light. So you can see what I did with uh, these images is I've bracketed everything. So I've shot everything, uh, three different exposures, you know, a stop or two apart. Why? Because the dynamic range is so intense. Like you got these, uh, you know, you got this light coming through that is so bright, and then you got these dark shadows because you are in a canyon. So you've got to shoot like that. But I'm going to take one image that... I think has got enough dynamic range or a, a narrow dynamic range that I can edit it in one go and not have to bracket these things. So let's get into it, guys. Um, so this is the image I'm going to take. This is the original off the camera image. And I'm going to edit this to make it look beautiful. So let's go to the develop module here in Lightroom. All right. And you'll notice I'm using, whoops, uh, presets. So I'm using uh, my friend Johnny Spencer has created this uh, Lightroom workflow, workflow presets, and they're just amazing. And by the way, guys, um, make sure you can you grab these. If you do want them, grab them at a discount at the link below this video. And it's only for a short time. But I think they're brilliant. Why? Because, you know, a lot of presets out there, you can click on one click and you can get this amazing image. But they don't actually teach you how to create that image now this johnny's taken a different approach to these presets and he's actually uses these and he he edits thousands of images each month for national parks and wildlife service here in australia so he's using these all the time to make his workflow a lot better and i've used them and they great because they actually teach you how to edit in lightroom you know you can go through them quite a few times and then you might not even need them anymore because you can learn how to edit them in Lightroom. So let me show you how they work and just how really quick they are. So if you got Johnny's presets, all you have to do is just follow them from zero all the way to the bottom, okay? And they go all the way down to here, down to 12. So there's basically 12 steps. Okay, first one, crop and straighten uh, manually. So I'll get to the crop tool here and I can crop and straighten this, this image uh, as much as I want, you know. So let's do that. I might go a little like that. There we go. Cool. Okay, so I've cropped it. Okay, next one's white balance. So the great thing about this is you can actually move your mouse or your cursor over these different things and you can see what it's going to look like right over here. So let's have a look. And I remember when we were in this canyon, the guide the navajo guide that took us through this canyon because it is in navajo um, native american land uh, they have navajo guides and this is how they make their money so it's really cool and he said put your camera to cloudy white balance <laughs> so i'm just going to go straight to cloudy because that's what he said and he's obviously taking a lot of photographers through this so there we go cloudy perfect all right let's go down to the next step step number two um, which is to get your exposure right. Now, I'm looking at the histogram over here. Now, this is vital when you're actually editing images. I, any images, you need to look at the histogram because the brightness of your screen doesn't really indicate how good the exposure is on that image. You need to look at the histogram, which is, and Johnny explains it really well in one of the videos in his uh, Lightroom presets bundle. Uh, basically, to the left are all the darks, to the right are all the lights, and the midtones are all in between. And you want your histogram to stretch all the way from the left to the right. Mine is now, you know, it's pretty good, but I can make it better. So we're going to look at that. So if I brighten this image a little bit, so let's go to brighten at 50%. There we go. Did you see the histogram just jump up there? Let's go back to where it was. So I can always go back to reset the exposure. See how the histogram's really low? 
and I hit the plus 50, boom, it's just made my image punch and pop so much better. So I brighten it by 50%, I can darken it if I want, don't need to. Then we look at the highlights. Now, I already know that there's massive highlights at the top of this image because that's where the light was coming through. So I'm gonna take the highlights down by 75. Okay, and you'll watch the sliders on the right here change as, as you change the uh, presets on the left. But um, you can look at it over here and just see exactly what's going to happen next. Okay, shadows. Yes, I think we need to up the shadows because it's really dark in the corners over here. So I'm going to up the shadows 75. Boom. Okay, now what Johnny says, number six, is to set your white and black point. Now you've got to do this manually, there's no preset for it. So what you need to do is take your cursor over the whites, hold down shift and double click whites and it automatically does that. Holding down shift, double click the blacks and it automatically, whoops, there we go. Modify a black clipping. Okay, so there's n it doesn't actually modify that. Let's see, yep, that's perfect. So I've modified the blacks and I've modified the whites according to the histogram. Now I've seen it go my histogram's a little bit to the left here, so I might just take the white back a little bit more, up a little bit more. There we go. So that's just me. You don't have to do that. Okay, contrast next. What do we need to do with contrast? Contrast basically widens the histogram or narrows the histogram. So if you go like this, you'll notice if I take my contrast all the way down, it narrows the histogram. If I take it all the way up, it flattens the histogram out there. Okay, we'll just take it back to where it was. Double click on contrast. Okay, so I'll add 10. 10 contrast. I won't go too much because the histogram is really looking good. Okay, sharpening. Here we go. And Johnny, Johnny says zoom to sharpen. So I'm going to go to an area like this over here. And I want to make sure I'm sharpening enough. So I can sharpen light, medium. So let's have a look at light, medium. I'm going to go medium to sharpen a little bit more. There we go. Noise reduction. Here's where you can you can zoom to a really dark area of this image, like this area over here, where there's probably going to be a lot of noise because I was shooting it at 500 ISO. So there should be, there probably is noise, even though I'm using a full frame sensor camera. And, um, and here's where you can actually uh, reduce the noise reduction. So I'll go to medium. Uh, that's step number nine. Now, step number 10 is vignette. Um, here we go. So, Vignette, do I want to, I'm going to zoom out of this image quickly. Do I want to add a little vignette light, medium, heavy? Um, I'll go to light, maybe. Yep, that looks good. Probably don't even need to because I got really dark, so I might even just reset the vignette. I don't think I need it. And then vibrance, okay, do we want to go light, medium, or heavy? I might go to medium, vibrance, and then saturation, you know, if you go heavy saturation, it just kills the image. And this is what a lot of newbies make mistakes with. So reset saturation, I might go light saturation over here. And you notice Johnny light saturation is only 10 on the scale. His heavy saturation is only 30. <laughs> so he's already calibrated this for you. So reset, reset saturation there, I'll just go light saturation. I don't want it to be too oversaturated and overcooked. I want this image to look quite natural. There we go, guys. That's pretty much it. Um, see how quickly I edited this image using Johnny's Lightroom uh, pre, uh, workflow presets. And he's actually taught me how to go through this in 12 steps. So basically, what did we do? We went through uh, crop, we went through white balance, we went through exposure, we went through highlights, then shadows. Then we set the white and black point uh, manually, then we went through contrast, sharpening, noise reduction, vignette, vibrance, and saturation. And that's it, guys. So the only thing, really, what I'm going to do with this image, because we shot it in a really dark area, is I'm going to go back to the detail and just have a look at the noise reduction here, because, yes, I shot it, and it was dark, and I just want to check and make sure that my noise reduction is right. So the first thing, the sharpening, I'm going to make sure I'm masking this image. So I'm gonna hold down the Option key or the Alt key and then go like this. All right, I might even just uh, zoom right out of this image and hold down Option and go like that. So you notice the white 
bits in this image, that's where you're going to sharpen and the black bits you're not going to sharpen because that's what's been masked out. And I might even sharpen a little bit more. There we go. So if you look at that, there we go. That's good. I'm sharpening those edges, which is perfect. Now the noise reduction, I'm going to add some color noise reduction here. All right. Now the way to check it, and I might zoom into an area like this. There we go. Where it's a little bit dark. So the way to check this is you can actually unclick the detail panel. And you'll see there's slight noise in this darker area over here. I might show you. Whoops. Whoops. <laughs> All right. I might show you this area which is really dark over here and you'll see there's quite a lot of there's a bit of noise there i can see some little red pixels and there's a bit of noise and when i actually click the noise reduction on it's it uh it softens this area and takes care of all the noise and i'm sharpening the areas that i want to sharpen so that's it guys i mean look at this image let's close this panel here let's have a look at what it looks like whoops not going there we go. Uh, here we go. <laughs> I don't know why it's not playing nicely with me today. Oh, there we go. Okay, cool. We might close this one over here too. So there's my image. I'll go to lights out mode. And then I'll go to the before. There's the before of what my image looked like before I edited using Johnny's Lightroom preset uh, workflow bundle. And here it is afterwards. And i could probably do that in like a minute and a half, maybe two minutes once I get, uh, you know, more, you know, once I get quicker at doing it. So, and I don't have to explain to you guys. So there we go, guys. What do you think of the difference between this and this? And how quick did I actually do it? I'd love to know what you guys think. Please leave me comments below. And don't forget that below this video, I've got a special deal for you to for Johnny's uh, Lightroom preset workflow bundle so go check it out and grab it while it's on uh, special that's it guys um, this is brand have an awesome day